Up, up. Welcome back to Ever Disney Movie Ever. My name is Justin. I'm watching Ever Disney Movie Ever today. I'm going to talk about Up, Up, and Away. Up, Up, and Away is a 2000 Disney Channel original movie. It's directed by Robert Townsend, cinematography by Danny Nowak, editing by John Price, music by David Michael Frank, and it's written by Dan Berenson. Robert Townsend is best known for The Mighty Quinn, The Parenthood, Hollywood Shuffle, and The Meteor Man. Danny Nowak is best known for Drive Across Concrete, the big hit Romeo Must Die, an incident in a ghost land. John Price is best known for Midnight Warrior, East LA Warriors, Forced to Kill, and Millennium. David Michael Frank and Dan Berenson I covered in previous videos, so I'll be listening to the link to the description. The film stars Michael J. Pagan, Robert Townsend, Alex Datcher, Kassan Butcher, Chris Marquette, Jamie Renee Smith, Sherman Hemsley, Kevin Connolly, and Ariel Davis. Michael J. Pagan plays Scott and is best known for Gridiron Gang, See No Evil, Forever Strong, and Fallen. Can you believe that's the only take I have of that? I can't. I'm sorry. Robert Townsend plays Jim Marshall slash Bronze Eagle, who, and I just covered him in this video. He's the director. And then Chris Marquette plays Randy, and Jamie Renee Smith plays Amy, and I covered both of them in previous videos. I'll be listening to the description. Alex Datcher plays Judy Marshall slash Warrior Woman, and is best known for The Expert, Passenger 57, Star Trek The Next Generation, and 18 Wheels of Justice. Cassandra Butcher plays Adam Marshall or Silver Charger, and is best known for Jeepers Creepers 2. Any Day Now, and El Mariachi Negro. Sherman Hemsley plays Edward or the Steel Condor, and he's best known for the Jeffersons, Dinosaurs, All in the Family, and Mr. Nanny. Kevin Connolly plays Malcolm and is best known for Entourage, the show and movie, The Notebook, and John Q. Ariel Davis plays Molly and is best known for Walker, Texas Ranger, Touched by an Angel, My Name is Earl, and this. As I said, this film was a Disney Channel original movie, which is exciting. I've never seen it before, so, um... This was my first time watching it and it could have been better in my opinion uh it wasn't horrible i liked the concept but it was kind of slow and a little lackluster and like not anticlimactic but a little anticlimactic but i think the pacing of the film is what really dragged it down because i feel like it could have been a lot better also i was a little salty that scott was normal and didn't have superpowers but like at the same time, I get the message of him being normal and still being able to be super. So like, I like that that's the message, but at the same time, like it felt a little sky high E, but like not as good. Cause sky high is really good. But this, I don't know, this was slow. Kevin Connolly's wardrobe, well, okay. Malcolm's wardrobe was atrocious. Oh my God. Gosh, like he just, there was one outfit he was wearing that like halfway through him wearing it, I realized his shoes were sandals. Like they weren't even like closed toed shoes, they were sandals. And I was like, what is happening? Why is he wearing sandals? It's just not, he's wearing pants. Why are there sandals? I just, it was really uncomfortable. But the movie itself was slow and the pacing was not great and it just, it could have been a lot better and I feel like I just didn't enjoy it as much as I was hoping to. So that's everything I have. My final rating for Up Up and Away is four superheroes out of 10. Our total movie count is. Parent Death Vault and Cry Count are still the same. If you want to keep up with what movie I'm watching when, follow me on Instagram or Twitter. You'll find out what movie I'm watching when. I put out videos every Monday and Friday and sometimes Wednesday. Join Patreon. I have a tier starting at just $1 a month and benefits do come with that, so go check it out. Buy merch. So much cute merch going on over there. Go look at it. Seriously. Okay? Until next time, comment while you subscribe, and I'm in charge of your life. You are, so you do, and don't be Malcolm about it. The amount of superhero name drops in this were a little insane. Spider-Man, Mary Jane, Green Hornet, Superman. They just name dropped as many heroes as they could, I felt like.